have the floor. Uh, hello, can you hear me? Uh, today, I would like to speak about the results of the study conducted together with my Russian colleagues on uh, preparation for children for school and what is the role uh, of uh, uh, different family factors in uh, that uh, preparation. Uh, so, I would like to start from saying that we all know that uh, children come to school uh, from a, a different, with different background and with different preparation scale, uh, preparation level. This is a universal problem, and uh, based on my talks with the teachers in Russia and in the US, this is the uh, vital uh, challenge for uh, all of us and uh, for other countries as well. And this uh, early development for preparation for school uh, is a serious uh, problem for the educational system because according to the studies, uh, the differences between children are not uh, going down during school studies. They remain flat or they are even increasing. So the gap becomes bigger, and if we consider the possible sources of differences in uh, children's skills, like cognitive skills, for instance, when they uh, enter school, we need to say there are some biological uh, assumptions, there are uh, some uh, different uh, genetical skills, uh, people well, children attend uh, different educational institutions, and this uh, can also affect uh, their preparation uh, for a uh, school to some extent. And there's huge difference as well between their families to the extent uh, of the support for the child. And, uh, uh, the correlation uh, between family factors and preparation for a uh, school uh, is... Uh, uh, conditioned by the empirical fact that in most countries where we conduct such studies, uh, there is a high correlation uh, between a social and economic status of the family and the level of children's preparation for school. And uh, when we are talking about social and economical factor, uh, this is a very big notion which includes many components, but two main components are family income, the money uh, status, and educational level of the children. Um, as I've mentioned, uh, these uh, factors are interrelated with the development of the children. This is a fact. And if we think more about this, it becomes evident that these uh, factors are, are indirectly impacting the development of the children. Uh, for example, if uh, a dad has more money in the bank itself, it's not improving uh, the language skills of a child, but the fact that this income of the father can provide for access of additional resources uh, as some materials the child has at uh, home or some courses he may attend, it can in, uh, d directly uh, impact and directly impact the preparation for school. And when we are talking about this indirect uh, impact of the social and economic status, uh, on child's development. Uh, well, uh, scientists uh, in many uh, cases uh, describe that within the context of the model, uh, which is uh, called a uh, family investment model. Well, I, this is uh, uh, my uh, translation into Russian that you see on the screen. Uh, so uh, we uh, borrowed uh, the uh, term from economy investment. If we understand investments are uh, not only in monetary terms, but uh, in psychological terms, it really makes sense, such uh, a definition, uh, well, and such a model name. And uh, here we see the uh, interrelations, the correlation uh, between a social and economical status of the family, which impact and influence the investment the family can make into development of their children. And those uh, factors directly impact 
the child's outcomes and his uh, results and different indicators of the development of the child himself. Uh, when we are discussing uh, the family investment uh, notion, usually we differentiate between three uh, categories. In the first place, these are resources available at home for the child, uh, which includes the amount of children's books and uh, some educational uh, um, games and uh, PC educational training programs, etc. Also, it includes uh, the opportunities of the family are to sign him up for extra courses, which are also of a developmental uh, character. And psychological investments are about uh, the parents to involve their children in different activities at home. They are communicating with them, and this uh, communication uh, is of developmental uh, character. They read some books, and they play the games, and they discards the books and they remember something they uh, lived uh, through together and this is psychological investment into development. Well, the model that you see is widely used in children's psychology uh, to describe uh, the mechanism which explain uh, the processes happening within a family context. Of course, any model, like any theoretical uh, model can be as far as it developed and elaborated and added to, and there are extra uh, questions about the factors which impact and influence the investment which can be done by parents. One of such uh, factors that we haven't considered within this uh, model yet uh, are the parental beliefs. Uh, so some, these are the views of the parents on upbringing, on the goals of child's development, on what is the type of activity which is good for this age stage of the child, what are the goals of this age stage, etc. Uh, from other studies, uh, we know that those parental beliefs, the views of the parents on child's development, greatly influence the uh, family and the parents' solutions uh, in terms uh, of uh, spending their resources on the child. Uh, well, there are some uh, parents in the US, uh, there are lots of educated parents who believe as the main activity for preschool children is uh, uh, play, playing, and academic studies are about school, and kindergarten needs to uh, train to prepare for the kindergarten. Of course, they are not uh, buying some uh, special uh, books uh, which uh, train uh, children how to uh, calculate, and because they think this is not needed at this stage, other parents may have absolutely different views, and based on that views, they will uh, make a certain uh, corresponding solutions on uh, where to invest their psychological and monetary resources. In addition, there is one point which requires further explanation and attention with respect to this uh, model uh, is, until recently, it was used uh, mainly uh, in the Western studies and uh, the children uh, were studied who live in Europe and in the US. Uh, well, here it's important to get information from the countries which have a different uh, social and economical situation, if you want to understand uh, whether those principles are really that universal as they seem, and we need to uh, test this model whether it works in other conditions or not. And the study I will be speaking about, it was, uh, con it was uh, conducted here in Russia in different conditions, in different environments, and we thought that was very important in this social and economical context context to conduct this study because between Russia, modern Russia and more in Western uh, world there are differences and things in common which are very important for us to understand. Well, a modern uh, Russia uh, well, has the same resources. I'm not discussing that uh, all of people have the same uh, access. Well, there are developmental uh, toys, uh, books, PCs, etc. No big gap and difference uh, between uh, parents in European and Western countries and Russia. And also there is a cultural tradition 
here, uh, uh, well, parents read together, they always talk, so there are uh, communities where children and adults are separated, but here in Russia it's uh, traditionally uh, very traditional for uh, parents and children to uh, interact a lot, uh, un, no, and maybe to a bigger extent than in the US in Europe. And as for differences, it's about uh, the establishment uh, of the educational environment and the social and economic situation in Russia. In uh, Russia, uh, pre-school uh, edu uh, institutions are more accessible in Russia, and most children uh, go to uh, free uh, educational uh, institutions, uh, preschool educational institutions, unlike the U.S., where there is only a very small share of people who have access to a public free of charge preschool education, and there is no centralized control and regulation of that system of education. And well, theoretically, this system could provide for a more or even a level uh, of functioning and preparation uh, of kindergartens and uh, preparation of children. And we believe that taking into account this accessibility and similarity uh, of kindergartens between themselves in terms of the quality of the education and in terms of what are the activities, maybe it compensates for the differences uh, between uh, the children which are linked to uh, family characteristics. So it was very interesting for us to discover whether uh, there will be the same difference and the processes that we see and witness in the US. Uh, despite the fact, here we have a kind of a buffer uh, of accessibility of uh, preschool education. And uh, when we were studying certain uh, statistical indicators and we compared uh, Russia versus US and uh, based on that we can say that educational uh, level of parents uh, does not uh, correlate uh, with the income level in Russia to a less extent than in the US. It's very interesting for us. So. Uh, it means that uh, we can just uh, split, we can uh, divide those two factors. In uh, the U.S., there's high correlation between the uh, income uh, level and the educational level. So uh, here, you can't understand what's the role of parental education uh, versus uh, income level and uh, in the context of the uh, family investment into child's development. Uh, so, uh, here, uh, that's the study that we did in Russia, and it, it, uh, its goal was to study preparation of children for school, uh, focusing on the aspect of developing their language skill and uh, uh, reading skills. Uh, this is uh, before entering the first uh, grade, by the time they enter the first grade, and uh, this is something which predefines uh, the success level of the child for all of the school years, so that's why we chose that as a focus. And our scientific goals uh, were in the first place to uh, conceptually improve uh, the um, a model, and we wanted to expand the understanding of how it can be applied only uh, in those contexts or it can be uh, scaled to other situations. Uh, the study that we managed to conduct included over 1,000 uh, families, 1,332 uh, kids uh, plus uh, parents from a big uh, town in uh, Russia, not Moscow. And um, the uh, age of children was uh, 7.4 years uh, when they entered the first grade. Social economic status of the family uh, was uh, very different in our sampling. Uh, half of the families uh, were the mid-income uh, uh, families, people with middle income and with higher education, but the other 50% uh, who had uh, very different people, people who were earning much more than uh, 100,000 uh, 100, rubles, and there are people who were earning uh, less than uh, 20,000 per month, and there was a huge uh, variation, variety here, and uh, we uh, could uh, study whether it uh, predefines the development. So let me speak about the method that we used. We did diagnostics, we did it in September, October, the beginning of the primary school. We checked uh, what they got with them, we, they made the test, divided into three 
Vocabulary, technical reading, and meaningful reading. For those who could read, they needed to answer the questions. Uh -huh. The parents also fulfilled the Q&A. Окей, тогда я скажу, что была дана им подробная анкета, в которых мы самые различные аспекты функционирования семьи выясняли. So we identified the functioning of the family and the inside of the family. Которые мы получили. То есть мы увидели, что такой показатель социально-экономический, как доход семьи, действительно влияет на семейных инвестиций, то есть на то, какие занятия проводят родители с ребенком, на то, какие какое количество их присутствует на то, что ребенок за пределами дома. Social communication also is shown the direct correlation between the education of parents and kids' speech, and education was more important in its influence than profit, and principles of sets of parents and their decisions, how they spend their resources and psychological resources are being spent on also were taken into consideration. So if we generalize and conclude, uh, we uh, see that home factors as everywhere else play a great role in the development and preparation of the kid for school. The education out of three factors that we covered influences mostly. Another thing are the sets of the parents. And the third thing is the profit. Plays its role, but in less degree. So this research proved the investment model of the family processes in the framework of Russia. That was kind of surprising for us. We saw the great differences between Russian and American community structure, but the process and, uh, happening in the family and the influence that identified that development of the kid will be within the following consequences. So there are other factors that influence the kid. In this model, we checked the quantity of these investments, how many books are there in the family, how many are being played with, and we checked the quality the quality of discussion of the books. So all these factors uh, do really influence the process of preparation of the kids uh, to school. So thank you very much for this, uh, for your attention.